Hi everyone, Rusty here. If you are subscribed to my channel, you probably saw my last video or maybe you got a notification about it. And I talked about over 15 expressions in Portuguese inside a song. And I get it can be fairly complicated, especially if you're a beginner. So thinking about beginners and intermediate students, I thought I would make another video explaining those expressions not every expression, but the ones that we use most frequently. So I'm going to talk about them, tell you the literal meaning of the expressions and what they actually mean in a way that will be easier for everyone to understand. If you already watched the previous video, it's a good way to review those expressions. And if not, you can watch this video and then go to the advanced video and see how much you can understand now. So without further ado, let's get to it. The first expression is não dá pé. Não dá pé. The literal meaning of this expression is it doesn't give food. Weird, right? Can you guess what this means? Have you seen the previous video and do you know what it means now? Do you still remember? Well, não dá pé has two meanings. So, for example, in this song they say Não adianta se consolar, não vai dar pé. So, we could say, for example, No matter what you do, não vai dar pé. Não importa o que você faça, não vai dar pé. Não vai funcionar. It won't work. An alternative is it won't happen. The other meaning of the expression dar pé as I said in the previous video, is when you can reach the ground, you're inside a swimming pool or you're on the beach uh, in the ocean and you can touch the ground with your food, with your feet actually. So if you can do that, then you can say, da pé. It's like my feet can reach the ground. Our second expression is the word cadê. Cadê? Cadê doesn't have a later translation. Cadê doesn't have any other meaning in Portuguese, but it means where is or where are something. And we use it in the beginning of a sentence. Cadê o meu anel? Where is my ring? Cadê o meu brinco? Where is my earring? So, cadê always comes in the beginning. Replacing onde está. Onde está o meu anel? Onde está o meu brinco? The following expression is sou mais eu. Sou mais eu literally translates to I am more me. You could also say sou mais ele, sou mais ela. I'm more him, I'm more her. What does it mean? The meaning of so my zeal is that I think I'm the best, I prefer myself. So when I say so my zeal, if so my zeal, it means that I'm better than any other person that you're trying to compare me with. Eu sou my zeal. Eu sou my zela. It's like I would choose her over the other person. The next expression is fica na tua. Fica na tua is like be or stay on your own. On yours, for example. That's the literal meaning of the, the expression. And what does it mean? Fica na tua is like mind your own business. Don't get involved. Uh, it's not your place to say anything. Fica na tua. It's like stay away. You can either say fica na tua or fica na sua. When you're talking about você, you, we say sua, but it's also come to say tua, even though we don't use tu, the word, the pronoun tu, uh, as frequently as você. Our next expression is ser fogo. Ser fogo literally means to be fire. When you say that something é fogo, is fire, it means that it's something difficult. Nossa, isso aí é fogo. It means it's really difficult. 
or você é fogo. It's like you are hard to handle. Our next expression is dar mancada. So, mancar, the verb mancar, means to limp, to walk like this. So, dar mancada would be something like to give a limp. And the real meaning of this expression is to make a blunder. When you make a blunder, you're da mancada. Nossa, eu dei uma mancada ontem. As pessoas não vão esquecer. And finally, the last expression is the name of the song. Vou deitar e rolar. The expression is deitar e rolar. Deitar means to lie down. And rolar, to roll or roll over. To so lie, lie down and roll over. What does it mean? It means to do whatever you want to do. To have a few day, to enjoy a situation completely without thinking of the consequences. That's deitar e rolar. Deitar e rolar is like do as you please. Eu vou deitar e rolar. I'll do whatever I want. So these are the most important expressions that I talked about in the previous video. Like I said, if you want to try and see if you can understand the previous video better, you can. I will put the link in the description below and you can watch it. If not, I hope you've learned with this video and I hope you'll be able to use these expressions next time you try to speak Portuguese. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Tchau, tchau.